It's Dave from Upgrade Your Home DIY. Today I want to show you how you can create a temporary light switch for a set of lights that you want to turn on. But the power going to that light switch is either turned off because you're working on some other part of that circuit, or that circuit isn't even hooked up yet, so there's no power even coming to that box. So let me walk you through what we're looking at here. This is a basement that's being finished and the light switch is going to be here, but the circuit isn't hooked up yet. We don't have power coming to the box. The lights are up there. We wanna be able to turn them on so that we can do work when it gets dark pretty soon. Now, you may also have a situation where you do have a power circuit coming to your box, but because of other work you're doing in on that circuit, you have the circuit turned off, so there's actually no power coming to the light switch that is already installed. So here's the cable right here that goes to our recessed lights. To not install, all installed yet, that's another thing we have to do later today. Now, there's no power coming to this box. If you did have power, what you would want to do is, is you want to disconnect this wire that goes to your lights from the switch that it's connected to, make sure you get the black, the white, and the ground. So you might have to go into the box because the whites are probably connected back there in the box. But you wanna get that out so we have this cable that's going to the lights and we can attach to the black, the white, and the ground. So here's how we're gonna get power to this cable. I'm gonna use this. This is just a section of regular 12-2 Realmex that I had left over from another project. And on one end, I've connected this three-prong plug. So you notice there's the black, the ground, and the white that you connect. So I've just stripped the wires back. And so this gives me one end, and I've just undone it here so you can see that that's what it is. So I'll go ahead and, and connect that back up. On the other end, I stripped a bit of wire from each of these black, white, and ground connectors. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to connect between this end and my wire, and I'm gonna do that using, using the inline WAGO connectors. So I've got my three cables here, and what I'm gonna do is these are the inline WAGO connectors. So they connect the wire straight through. So I can put one end on, here's the white, I'll put that on, clip it, make sure it's pulled tight, and then I'll do the same for my other two wires as well. The ground, pull that tight, and the black. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this back together, and then we'll show you the next step. I've got this all put back together. So by having these three connectors and the plug on the other end, it gives you the ability to power any wire without having that circuit in the box or somewhere else connected to it. Because you can plug this into an extension cord that's connected to a circuit somewhere else in the house that's already turned on. This is a really handy thing to have around. So I always keep it in my electrical panel. Again, I've got, oh, what, maybe a couple feet here, just however long you, you want to carry it, however long you've got a piece of wire around. So we've got the plug on one end and our three connectors with our WAGO straight line connectors on the other end. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wire that goes to our lights and I'm gonna strip back a little bit of the sheeting and strip the black and the white so that I can connect them to my adapter here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and strip back a little bit of the sheeting here. using the Ulfa knife, which is one of the eight essential electrical tools that I think all DIYers should have for electrical projects. I'll link to that video that I did up in the top corner. Now I'm gonna grab my Milwaukee six-in-one electrician's pliers. Great, great pliers, again, in that video. So I'm gonna strip back a bit of the wire on the black and white here. Okay, so now I have this wire ready so I can connect the adapter. So I have my adapter here. I'll open up my three connections, move them around so they're in the right order. So I'll start with my white. 
that on, pull test, always pull test every connection. Have to do that for sure. Ground, okay, and the black here, that in. Make sure underneath, you can also see underneath whether they're connected, which is, an, again, a, ver a good visual check. So now with my plug end, I could simply plug this into an extension cord and the lights would go on. But I wanna go something better than that. I wanna be able to have better control. So what am I gonna do? So what I'm gonna do is before I plug this into an extension cord, I'm gonna use this. This is a switched plug. So it has the three prong on the front and the back, but it also has the switch because now this is going to give me a power switch. I'm gonna plug this my adapter into this plug switch here. Now I can take this and plug it into my extension cord. So got it in the off position here. I'm gonna plug it into the extension cord. There we go. And now I'll plug this extension cord in on the other end and we'll see how this works. So we've now got the extension cord plugged in on the other end. I've got my switch. I switch it to the on position. And now we have lights in the area we want to work in. Of course, we've got to hook up the rest of them. That's later today. And we have control. So now when I want to hook up the rest of them, for example, I just turn this off, make sure I disconnect it from the extension cord. That's the equivalent of turning the breaker off in this setup. So I know I have no power at all going to the cable that's feeding those lights. And when I'm ready, I can plug it back in, switch my switch on, and I now have lights. I'll put a link in the description below to all the products that I've used in this video. In the comments below, let me know how you could use this approach of having this adapter, the plug switch to create temporary light switch for a project you're working on in your home. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button so other DIYers like you and I can find this and be able to use this information in their own DIY electrical projects. If you enjoyed the information in this video, here are some other videos I think you'll find helpful. Subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I publish a new video. Thanks for watching.